Five days ago, I set myself a challenge to see if I could get ChatGPT to write me an expert level CV, the kind I'd be happy with reviewing in my day job as a careers consultant at the University of Cambridge. I was feeling pretty confident, but five days later, would I still feel the same? A watch to find out, and you'll also get to know what makes a CV expert level and what prompts might help you get there. I'm Raj, let's dive in. I first wanted to get a sense of what kind of CVs ChatGPT was capable of generating, and I wanted to make it real, to make it personal. So I found a role that I felt I might have a shot at landing an interview for. This casework manager role for student complaints at the University of Oxford. And I entered a very simple prompt. Okay, so it's given me a bunch of questions and I guess I like the collaborative style, it feels approachable. There are a lot of inputs it's asking for and interestingly, it is not asking me anything about the role I'm applying for. So we'll need to keep an eye on that. Pressing ahead now with the first two bits of information entered, that's name and contact info, it's time for the professional summary. I give a decent amount of detail so ChatGPT has something to work with. Okay, so it's work experience next, and I'll just skip ahead and pause to show you how I'm writing about my experiences. For the careers consultant roles, I'm describing the nuts and bolts of the job. And for my banking roles, I'm mentioning regulatory work. Regulations are mentioned in the caseworker job description. For skills, I'll put in those that connect to what I'm describing above. Projects, maybe I'll mention just a couple of things. Languages, interests and I'm done. Oh, and by the way, it took me about 17 minutes to get to this point with the prompts. I'm kind of nervous and excited. Let's hit go and see what happens. Okay, so it's given me a professional summary section, sometimes called a profile. Honestly, not my favorite thing to see on a CD. Let's see what it's saying here. I've pursued two successful careers, initially in investment banking, where I created structured finance products and later transitioned into operations, etc. I mean, it's not bad, but it doesn't feel in any way optimized for the caseworker role. The median average amount of time spent looking at a CV is less than four seconds. I worry that with this kind of CV, all the recruiter's gonna get in that amount of time is that I've had a couple of careers. Let's now pause it on the work experience section. So for my careers consultant role, it's fair enough, pretty standard narrative description. Maintain departmental relations, conduct one-to-one -one career consultations. It's kind of simply feeding back what I inputted in bullet point form, which in fairness might be a useful starting point. Skipping ahead now beyond the education section, ChatGPT gives a separate skills section, which I definitely avoid because it strips those skills of important context. So with ChatGPT's output complete, I guess it's like a four out of 10 as a general CV, and it's just kind of basic and not descriptive enough, but as a CV targeting the caseworker role, it's not great. I'd say it's maybe a two out of 10. We've definitely got work to do. It was clear at this stage I needed to rethink how I was prompting to get a more tailored results. And while I started day one feeling quite confident about where I could get to, I was feeling anything but confident by the end of the day. So I felt like day two had a lot riding on it, but I felt I could make improvements. Here's what happened. Tailoring has been the key thing it hasn't been getting right. So let's see if I can just copy and paste the job description straight in and see if it works. So no, apparently not. It's not great at accessing information from links directly, but it does seem to be searching the net for other caseworker roles. And honestly, the skills it thinks might be important, organizational communication analytical skills, do map reasonably well to the skills requested on my caseworker job description. So on the right are ChatGPT's guesses of important skills, while on the left are the skills from the job description. We can see the overlap. Skipping ahead now to ChatGPT's updated professional summary based on those skills, it still doesn't get to relevant info quick enough, but we can see how much it's changed. It's now emphasizing regulatory compliance, case management, departmental relations, manage high volume casework, all things directly from the job description. And this is a good sign, even though I still wouldn't have this section on an expert level CV. Skipping ahead to the work experience section, there are other definite improvements. Here we can see it mentioned investigated and resolved student feedback issues. While I actually have done this, I didn't tell it anything about this. It's guessing at what I might have done in a way that could connect to what a caseworker typically does. It's clever, but we can go one further because we can directly tell ChatGPT what's in our job description. 
So I copy pasted the specific required skills from the job description and entered those into the prompt. It's much better. It's mirroring the language from the job description, which is great, but it's still not doing it consistently. The bullet point, manage relationships with key departments, isn't super relevant to the caseworker role. I need it to show one clear skill from the job description. Oh, and one other thing, we know how recruiters read CVs via eye-tracking research, around 90% of recruiters' time is spent in this area. I want that to be massively and obviously populated with the skills the recruiter for the caseworker role wants to see. It was at this point that I went with the prompt that changed everything. Please start bullet points with required skills. Here's what happened. Straight away I can see the difference. It's doing what I asked. It's starting the bullet points with the skills I pasted in and those skills are presented in the same order as a job description. This is the second bit of expert level CV writing technique that I've seen ChatGPT use and I love it. It's obviously tailored. So for this bullet point, it starts with the top listed skill and the recruiter will see it because it's in that left hand zone they're looking in and it describes an underlying mechanic of organisational skill. That's the managing schedules bit. This helps lock in the recruiter's belief that you do actually have this skill. Oh, and by the way, numbers also work well in CVs. This is exactly what I look for when reviewing CVs professionally. By the end of day three, I was feeling a lot happier. I got the CV to about a seven and a half out of 10. Not quite expert level, but also not a million miles off. On day four, I tried a bunch of prompt variations and I even fed in a previous version of my CV and asked it to optimize it for those required skills from the caseworker job description. And you know what? The really interesting thing is that none of those variations were any better than the CV I had at the end of day three, that seven and a half out of 10 version. So I figured ChatGPT had gone as far as it could to get me an expert level CV. If I needed to make improvements, I'd have to take them offline. But first let's summarize what ChatGPT does well and not so well with CVs. On the upside, it mirrors language from the job description, it presents skills in the same order as the job description, and it helps generate ideas for what to write. And we'll see in a moment that it formats pretty well when we export its output to Microsoft Word. Now on the downside, First, its output isn't selective, it includes pretty much everything. And second, it doesn't know what you've done in your roles, so however much you optimise your inputs and your prompts, you're still left with an inevitable jumping off point where you'll have to write and edit large parts yourself. And third, ChatGPT can't understand how the CV hangs together as a whole, how one part might make up for weaknesses elsewhere. Now I'm excited to show you exactly how I would fix each of these weak points. I'm going to copy paste ChatGPT's output into Word like this. After a short bit of tidying up where I get the contact details on one line, set the font to Calibri, make margin adjustments, get rid of the summary section, and rebrand work experience to professional experience to sound a bit more grown up, now we're good to fix the first of ChatGPT's key weaknesses. Let's make it more selective. So six bullet points is overkill, three is ideal. So I'm gonna keep the three bullet points that show the top three skills from the job description and delete the rest from this particular section. Okay, the second of ChatGPT's weaknesses is that it doesn't know what you've done in your roles. So now let's focus on what the bullet points themselves say. So with this one, posing it as organizational skills is good. Let's try maintain relations with four departments and then delivering on the organizing bit of it. So organizing upwards of 10 careers workshops to fit alongside the numerous timetable commitments. Actually, it's a bit annoying to go to a third line, so let's say it in fewer words. Expert level sentences in CVs always start with a skill from the job description, not an active verb, that can come later if you want, then it's a description of the specific skill and how you've used it. And if you can use some numbers to explain it, that's great, but not always necessary. So this is how you can fix that weakness of ChatGPT where it doesn't actually know what you've done. Now I applied these same principles to all bullet points and I'll pause here so that you can pause too if you want to fully read through. But next up, we need to fix the third of ChatGPT's key weaknesses, that it doesn't know how the whole CV hangs together. 
Now I'm thinking of a very particular situation with my CV for the caseworker job description, where that job description asks for experience with regulations. Now I know there's gonna be a little bit of weakness in my CV because I haven't dealt with regulations as part of my work at universities, but I have in my previous financial career. So it makes sense to go big on emphasizing regulatory work in those prior finance roles like this. To get an expert level CV, you must think through how the whole thing works together. ChatGPT cannot do this for you. And I'm done. This is an expert level CV. The recruiter can see the top rank skill in the first four seconds of their reading it. More than 80% of the bullet points start with a skill from the job description, and over 70% of those show at least one underlying feature of that skill to demonstrate how I actually used it. I've been very selective in what I've featured, I've not included everything, and it feels spacious and inviting. So, can ChatGPT write expert level CVs? No, but you can get surprisingly close. You can get to a platform from which you can incorporate your own stories, use your own sense of prioritization to get it to that expert level using the techniques I've shown you in this video. Now, is it more efficient than writing your own CV from scratch using those principles? I'm gonna let you be the judge of that and I'd love to know what you think in the comments section down below. For now, the key takeaways for you. You don't need a lot of complex prompts, just manually feed in the skills you want ChatGPT to emphasize from the job description. And most importantly of all, instruct ChatGPT to start each bullet point with one of those skills. Then manually refine ChatGPT's output onward to counter those three key weaknesses. It's not selective, it doesn't know or understand what you've done, nor does it know how everything fits together as a whole. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. I'll catch you next time.